Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about 3D printed foods. So, uh, in previous classes we have discussed about uh, 3D printing, 3D bioprinting, its introduction and the materials used for the 3D bioprinting, the techniques, the pie techniques we, we studied and then the 3D uh, printing of ear, bone and skin we have discussed in the previous classes. So today we are shifting from medical to the food industry. So 3D printing in food industry, how exactly we can have applications, let's see. So is there any need of uh, printing foods in 3D, whether it is uh, required? Yes, it is. How? For what purpose? For the, if you are having any customized taste or individual preferences, maybe like architectural kind of stuff, or different architectures in different innovative kind of structures for uh, giving the uh, more attractiveness for the food, for, uh, especially for uh, the bakery and uh, sweetener uh, uh, fields and also individual, uh, diet, individual preferences and also for dietary needs we can you go for this particular 3D prints. Yes, let's, uh, let's start the uh, session. So 3D printed food refers to the food items that are created using the 3D print technology. So whatever the food items you are going to prepare by using 3D, print, uh, 3D printing technology is referred to 3D printed foods. So this technology allows for the creation of the foods Food items with intricate shapes and designs. What do you mean by intricate? Something complex or something very innovative kind of structures. Okay, so intricate shapes and designs which can be customized based on the individual preference and dietary needs. So it can be customized means whatever, how, how, how much, however you want these particular structures to be de designed, the design should, care should be done and again it is printed based on the design and the final we get the product based on that design only. So now the process of 3D printing food involves the use of edible materials such as paste, gels, powders. They are used to use cells, biomaterials and uh, you know scaffolds, electro, electrocell matrix, hydrogels and all that. So here we will be using the paste, gels and powders. What are the components of the foods we will be using which are combined and as well as printed layer by layer by layer to create the final product. Now the use of 3D printing in the food industry has the potential to revolutionize the way the food is produced. That means how exactly we are producing normally conventional techniques what we are using to produce the food that can be completely evaporated or we can say replaced by using this particular 3D technology. We can have new gene, uh, you know, geometry or new structures of the food so that we can, that can be more attractive than what we produce conventionally. conventionally. So as it allows the precise control of food size and as well as ingredients. So not only this structure but also the precise control of pores. That means the uh, control of portion sizes. That means the particular portion sizes, what portion it should be curved or what portion it should be you know, uh, look like what kind of structure. So that and then ingredients also we can manipulate. So which can be beneficial for individuals with specific dietary needs or restrictions. For example, a particular food item is there and that food item we cannot, you are not allowed to have. Why? Because it contains the X component in that or Y component in that. So now the doctor will tell you that food food you cannot have because that contains X and Y components which are not good for your health. So now I can have on my own customized food where I can remove this X and Y components, have the normal other ingredients which are good for your health. Understanding. So that is called customized benefits or can say we can have based on our specific dietary needs or restrictions, we can have the customized foods by using 3D print technology which is actually going to be uh, more useful in many of the countries like US and Japan where obesity is a you know, major cause, major issue and uh, even the highly developing countries, even though they are highly developing countries, most of the populations are having obesity issues or even in not only those countries, there are a lot of countries, even including European countries and uh, so many people are, even including India also, many people require this, uh, you, know, uh, you know, what do you say, uh, this particular technology so that we can have our own food like what we want to eat, we can eat that by avoiding what is not required in that. Okay. So additionally, uh, 3D printing technology can be used to create a unique and customized food items that would be difficult to achieve using traditional cooking methods. That means a 3D printing technology can be used to create a particular unique, that means very new and customized food items. 
So that would be difficult to achieve in the normal traditional technique or uh, what we use as a cooking method that we just told in the previous slide. So this is how the 3D, uh, what do you say, the printed food items looks like. A little bit attractive or I can say, uh, or, uh, based on the different architecture or design we can have. So materials, edible paste, edible gels, edible powders. So and other other materials also here. Yeah. So that we will see. So edible paste. So edible materials such as uh, uh, puree crew, chocolate, ice cream cheese. Okay, that can be used in 3D printing. And these materials are easily printable. That can be used to create intricate or complex shapes and design. That means we can intricate shapes or we can have can can create intricate shapes. That means very complex or very innovative, which are not seen before, like kind of structures and designs. And we can have this particular chocolate ice cream and fruit kind of stuff. Next, edible gels are nothing but agar and gelatin. Okay, that can be used in a clear printing food. So here, uh, why these are used? Uh, basically, there. Property that is flexible property. They are flexible and can be used to create uh, structures for both aesthetically pleasing and as well as functional. So uh, sorry, aesthetically pleasing and functional. So uh, the food is pleasing and functional. Next, edible powders. So edible powders such as flour and sugars that can be used for in dairy printing foods. It can be these components can be combined with the liquids to form a printable mixture. So that can be used to create the three-dimensional structure. Examples we have sweet and savory snacks with 3D printed snacks such as crackers, cookies, chips that can be customized to include or uh, no, intricate shapes or designs. So that we can customize these crackers, cookies or chips. Okay, so for example, some chips are not good for your health. Okay, fine. So you can have your own chips. Okay, where those particular ingredients can be removed off and whatever components are not problem for you that can be used. Okay, and then pastries, so 3D printing technology can be used to create in, uh, you know, again, intricate and as well as aesthetically pleasure, uh, you know, pleasing pastries such as cakes, cupcakes and all. Next, decorative uh, garnishes. So 3D printing technology can be used to create a unique and as well as attractive garnishes for dishes, for example, cheese and fruit designs. The importance, so it has got a very various importance uh, where it is, uh, you know, due to uh, its potential to revolutionize the various aspects of the food production, for example, customization and innovation. These are the two major keys, customization and innovation, where it is going to uh, you know, make its place in the market. So here are some of the key reasons why 3D printing is very important in the food industry. Customization, personalization, yeah, we told, if I want a particular food to have, but uh, uh, doctors are asking me to not to have that food because that contains the X and Y components. That X and Y components I can avoid before the printing and I can customize and I can uh, order that particular 3D printing printed foods. We can have that. So and next, novelty and creativity because of the, uh, this particular uh, structure, integrated structures, we are needing the new complex structures or very innovative structures which are uh, very new, that is uh, novelty and creativity. Uh, different, different architectures, different designs, we will get a creativity and because of the novelty and creativity, there will be a more attraction towards these foods in terms of the food industry. It will be, uh, it will be very, I know what you say, the marketing strategy, it could be the very, you know, it can be the one of the greatest marketing strategy or uh, to uh, grab the customers in the food industry like you know, hotel businesses and all. So next, enhanced food safety. Okay, so enhanced food safety in the sense is some foods are not safe for your health, understanding. So that is why we can enhance food safety and also, now that is one, one, uh, one way out, another way of food safety. That means, and for whatever the ingredients, whatever the major components, the proteins, carbohydrates we need, that can we have customized, we can have that, and you know, we can, whenever where the food crisis is there, we can provide this particular, uh, uh, this particular product so that it can be helpful for them. So next, supply, supply chain efficiency. So supply chain efficiency in sense to produce a food, we have to, you know, buy the raw materials from there, here, and a lot of, you know, yeah. Uh, tedious uh, this thing is in our processing and all. So in there also we can have the supply chain efficiency where we can have a better applications and sustainable food production, okay, and then food innovation and research. Food innovation and research in a sense, 
uh, to have more and more ingredients mixed and together and we can have whether how the taste is there and we can do the some kind of research on that. So next topic is electrical thumb in food uh, safety that we will discuss in the next